Let's just talk about you first, so that if the audience does not know, growing up in South Africa. Yeah. You know, yeah. And why, how, how did you end up in Canada? Um, well, um, I guess growing up in South Africa, I, I was actually, it was very t t technology oriented, and I, I taught myself how to program computers, mostly because I wanted to program games. Um, and I, when, I, when I was about 12, I, I programmed, sold my first game. And whenever I'd read about technology um, and, and great innovation, it's, it, it was coming from from the United States, and um, and so when I was 17, uh, as soon as I got my Canadian passport, um, three weeks later I was in Canada. So after PayPal, um, uh, that that gave me you know a fair bit of capital, um, and uh, uh, there, there were there were three areas when, when I was in college. There were three areas that I thought would most affect the future of humanity, um, and and those were the internet, uh, the transition to a sustainable energy and transportation uh, sector. And the third was space exploration, and particularly the extension of life to multiple planets. It really wasn't from the perspective of what, what's the rank ordered best way to to make money, um, which which is which is okay. But um, it, it was really w w what I think is going to most affect the future of humanity. So uh, that's th that's that's the basis for for SpaceX, Tesla, and, and Solar City. And, and w when I started SpaceX, it, initially I thought that. Well, there's, there's no way one could possibly start a rocket company. I, I wasn't that crazy. Um, um, so I actually went to I went to Russia three times to, to look at buying um, a refurbished ICBM. So after, after my third trip, I said, okay, well, what we really need to do here is try to solve the, the space transport problem, and uh, and started SpaceX. Um, and uh, this, this was against the advice of pretty much everyone I talked to. Uh, think, think it, was, it was tough going there in the beginning uh, because I'd never built anything physical. I mean, I'd built like little model rockets as a kid and that kind of thing, but um, I'd never had a company that built anything physical. The odds of me coming into the rocket business, not knowing anything about rockets, not having ever built anything, I mean, um, I would have to be insane if I thought the odds were in my favor. Why even begin? Oh, when something is important enough, you do it even though flowers are not in your favor. And, and so we, we, we did all that and, and then failed three times. Um, it, 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 it was tough, tough going. When you had that third failure in a row, mm -hmm. did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. The, the first launch, I was picking up bits of rocket near the, near the launch site, it was a bit sad. But we, we, we learned with, with each successive flight and, uh, and we're able to, with, uh, eventually with the fourth flight in 2008, uh, reach orbit. Um, and that was also with the last bit of money that we had. If that fourth launch hadn't worked, that would have been it. Um, we would have not had the resources to mount a fifth. You couldn't have gone on at that point? We, we, it, yes, death would have been, I think, inevitable because we did not have the resources to, to mount a fifth launch. Um, and then uh, on, the, on, the, on the Tesla front, uh, the, the goal with Tesla was really to try to show that what, what electric cars can do, because people had the wrong impression. We had to um, change people's perception of an electric vehicle, because they used to think of it as something that was slow and ugly and had low range, kind of like a golf cart. Um, and, and so that's why we created the Tesla Roadster to show that you can be fast, um, attractive, and, and long range. So, um, so we, we made the Tesla Roadster, and now we're coming out soon with the Model S, which is a, a four-door sedan. Uh, because after we made the Tesla Roadster, people said, oh, sure, sure, we, we always knew you could make a car like that. It's an expensive car, uh, and it's low volume, and it's small, and all that, but you couldn't make a real car. Uh, like, okay, fine, we're gonna make that too. A lot of people, you know, the, a lot of experts, maybe journalists, all the kind of, you know, the public in general have a lot of doubt about whether it's possible. And you yourself know that uh, even if it's a non-null set, non-empty set of success, it's still unlikely or very difficult. Like, where do you go to, both personally, um, intellectually, as an engineer, as a team, for source of strength needed to sort of persevere through this and to uh, keep going with the project, take it to completion? I, I just really not how I think about things. Um, I mean, for me, it's simply this: this is something that is important to get done, um, and we we should just keep doing it um, or die trying. And I, I don't need 
a source of strength. So quitting is not even like. Um, it's not. It's not in my nature. Okay. And I. I don't care about optimism or pessimism. Fuck that. We're gonna get it done. Creating a company is almost like having a child. So it's sort of like, how do you say your child should not have food? So one, once you have the company, you have to feed it and nurse it yeah. and <laughs> take care of it, even if it, it ruins you? Yeah.